well this afternoon it's about quarter after three and I'm gonna make another dead bird dish and it's pretty much gonna be the same as all of my dead bird dishes it's gonna be dead bird it's gonna be mushrooms it's gonna be red onions and it's gonna be bell peppers but I'm gonna do a little twist to it this time something I've never done before I'm gonna add some of the Baja Chipotle that we use in our turkey tacos to it and see how that tastes we've never done that before so I will get started putting the chicken together and get back with you in a few okay so I just took all the stems off the mushrooms and now I just cut them up and I always throw them in a colander because I wash my mushrooms very very good I wash all my vegetables very good before I use them in a dinner so we had a cat fight this morning Megan had already left for school and Kevin had already left for work and I was still in bed and I heard a cat fight and I thought originally it was coming from outside so I come running out of my bedroom and it was coming from upstairs so I went running up the stairs and we have five cats and all of them except Bootsy was upstairs so we were I wasn't sure who it was but when I went running up the stairs I yelled I yelled stop and I clapped really loud so the fight stopped before I could get up there and here comes Mojo moseying out of Megan's room and going into the cat room here comes Boomer just moseying out like hmm, yeah no big deal whatever and here comes Ebony coming out of Megan's room and Mama Kitty was laying in the closet because she doesn't really leave that room much so I am tempted to believe that it was Mojo and Ebony who got into a fight but I checked everybody no cuts no blood no hair pulled out or anything like that so if it was a cat fight it was a baby cat fight and I broke it up before it could get any worse but it has us a little concerned because we don't want to have that keep happening especially with Ebony she's she's so docile and and skittish to begin with that we don't want her to start feeling really uncomfortable with mama and mojo so got to keep an eye on that now I just have to cover it with some aluminum foil and I'll pop that in the oven here and it's got to cook for about an hour so that's that now I got to get a, together a shopping list for Kevin and then I'll take you guys up to see mama so I found mama she's hiding again in the corner so I'm filming in green screen so you guys can all see her she's been out I don't know why she went back to her corner Try and pet her. Hey, mamas. Hi, baby girl. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera off because I'm going to try moving her. And she does not like being picked up. I really up. need her to to mingle with us, to to get to know that we're not going to hurt her. And I don't quite know how to do that. So I'm thinking forcing her to come downstairs 
and letting me love on her a little bit um, more would, would probably help that. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to turn the camera off and I am going to try picking her up. <laughs> well, I got her up and got her out of the corner, tried to wrap her in this. She had no part of that. She took off running, she scratched my foot pretty good, and scratched my arm pretty good. Don't see any blood, but she's not in the closet anymore. That's for sure. I'm gonna go see if I can find where she took off to. <laughs> okay, so Mama is now back under Megan's bed. Whoops, I'm sorry, I just hit bo Boomer in the head. And I ain't gonna try and force her out from under there, but you guys got to see a little bit of her today, and I'll keep trying. If anybody has any suggestions, please let us know. If you guys think I should just leave her be and let her stay in that room, let me know. I don't know what to do. I'm heartbroken that she's not coming out. Um but I'm happy that she's in the house and safe from disease and safe from coyotes. But I feel so bad that she's like, I feel like she feels like she's in jail and it's so sad and I don't know what to do. So anybody out there have any ideas, please let me know. Hello, handsome. Hello. <laughs> Did I scare you or something? Yeah. Why is that? I didn't expect to have a camera in my face so early. Grumpy pants. I got critters to feed. <laughs> you feed your critters. Critter food. Hey, everybody, Kevin's home. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Gonna see if dinner's ready. <coughs> Pull. I'm not strong enough. Don't burn yourself. I have to take your days away from you. Oh! So let me take a piece of this chicken out because it's really thick. Did you uh, cook the oh, asparagus at all? No, I didn't. I'm going to do that for my lunch tomorrow. All right. But that looks cooked, doesn't it? it sure does. Okay, and that's probably one of the thicker pieces. I got another package. It says. Valerie the polar bear. Uh, hey, I want one. <laughs> Ooh, it's even gift wrap. It's gift wrap. Enjoy your gift. These are for Valerie only. So, Kevin, keep your paws off them. From Christopher Trade Show. Christopher, you gotta stop. This is the third thing in what, five days that I've gotten from you. I haven't gotten anything. <laughs> I, I would take some presents. Just saying. Just offering, you know. If you, if you like nice little black box with a little ribbon on it. All right, come on, come on, Let me come see on. see if I can get them laying right. Hold on. There we go. It is five pairs of Halloween earrings. We got black cats. We got black spiders. We got pumpkins. We got, I guess these are bats, bats yeah. and ghosts. I'm definitely taking some of those. Aren't they cute? I can't show that. I'm going to put in a pair right now. What should I put on? I don't know. It's um, your gift. I'm not going to tell you anything. I'm definitely taking some of those. <laughs> They're so cute. You got to be nice to Christopher. Maybe he'll send you some. No one <laughs> loves me. Everybody hates me. I think I'm going to go eat some worms. I think I'm going to put in these ghosts. There's one ghost. Go. 
ghosts. I don't know, well, it takes you so long in the morning. <laughs> Take forever you just put those on. So, honey, how's the dinner? It's good. I made it with that chipotle... What is it? It's a marinade. It's chipotle lime marinade. It gives it just a little bit of kick to it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. You like it? Yeah. Yeah? Good. I think it tastes pretty good, too. Good. It's beginning to look a lot like Halloween! Little by little. It looks normal to me. Inch by inch. This house is starting to look a little scary. <laughs> Scarier than usual? Beauty Queen 12, the movie you were trying to think of is The Nightmare Before Christmas. She was trying to think of the movie with Jack Skellington in it. And she couldn't think of the name of it. And it's one of her favorite movies. The Nightmare Before Christmas. It is one of my favorite movies. I love Jack Skellington. He is up there with my, whoa, he is up there with my polar bears, Snoopy, <sighs> Daryl Dixon, and Jack Skellington. Those are my four favorite things in the world. So. Except for that fifth thing. Does everybody know what time it is? Time to kill zombies? Yep. Don't you shoot the camera. You shoot that camera. Oh, you're going to make him go off. You. Can y'all hear it? The spirits are restless tonight. They've come to get you, Bob. <laughs> We're referencing scary movies. We love Shut this up. time of year. We really, really do. The Abyss 92882 and Angie's Art Channel, also known as Angie Lupus Life, wants to know who our favorite comedians are. Currently? Well. Because? It's hard because we don't really, cur well, currently I would have to say mine is Jeff Dunham. Um, you know, the guy, ventriloquist guy with Ahmed, the, the, uh... Dead terrorist. Dead terrorist. But both of us would have to say... Uh, the only comedian that had me laughing so hard that I almost peed myself was probably Howie Mandel. But, um, he hasn't really done anything in years and years and years and years. Except game shows. Yeah. Stand-up was, was pretty funny. I liked when he did Bobby. Yeah, he did the Bobby thing. Yeah. yeah. So we loved Howie Mandel. He was probably the best. Um, and of course Robin Williams, mm -hmm. you know, but he's no longer here either. So I would have to say, you know, my third favorite is Jeff Dunham. So. Um, Daisy B. Welcome to the neighborhood. And shout out to you. Cha. Selena G. Love, 487, also known as Brian. Hey, we haven't heard from you. I know, time. he's back. We missed you so much. Welcome back. Sorry you missed the Not Scary Farm trip. I know you're going to Six Flags with your school and all, but we would have loved to have seen you at Not Scary Farm. Maybe next year. The spasmodic, you don't know what you are missing. He doesn't have cable, so he doesn't get to watch The Walking Dead. I guess that's why he watches us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't get cable. Stick with us. <laughs> and I want to say there's, a, there, there's three channels out there now that, I, that I'm watching. Um... One is Poop, Eat, and Sleep. <laughs> they have a little baby girl named Amelia. And she said that Boomer makes a very good Halloween decorations because, remember, he was laying on the bar last night. Well, you'll get to know Boomer. He is like the star of the show. He's in almost every video we do. Where We're surprised he, he's actually not here right now, sitting up here, climbing on Kevin, you know. Boom, boom. 
Yeah. He may come now that Kevin just said that. Boomer. Boomer. Um, so, Poopy in Sleep has a baby girl named Amelia. And then Andy and Tay, I told you guys about, also has a baby girl named uh, Lily. And Robert's Reality is also another channel we follow. And they have a baby boy named Landon. So... We just have Boomer. <laughs> we have Megan. She's 20. Uh... <laughs> You don't get to see me changing her diaper. Um, <laughs> okay. But anyway, all three of them have ba newborn babies, and they are... And so does Nikki and John. And so does Nikki and John now, yeah. So, but they're filming, and they're documenting, and vlogging their, their lives with their babies, and going to have that as their babies grow up and those kids are going to be so used to having a camera stuck in their faces i mean when i see landon landon's like yeah point the camera at me come on and and he's only i don't know how old he is but he's so young and he's like yeah come on come on point the camera at me i'm right here see side. see <laughs> you know it's so cute but all three of them and poopy and sleep she does uh, some amazing crafts with the baby that I wish I would have thought of when Aunt, when Megan was a baby because they're so cute and such amazing stuff to have for when your baby gets older. So Nikki and John, if you watch this, check out their channel so you can see some of the stuff she does so you can make some of that stuff with Iris. I'm sure you'll love it. And you'll get used to the poop, eat, and sleep thing too. <laughs> well, the poop and eat. <laughs> yeah, you won't get any sleep. shoot me if I don't do my thing so you are all part of our neighborhood community <laughs> each and every one of you we love you thank you all we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you thumbs up and we will see you all tomorrow Blah. <laughs>